But the only con, the only disadvantage here is that there is no Indian store nearby. There's an Asian store, but there is not an Indian store. So I do envy my friends who share photos eating jalebi or pani puri. <laughs> I come from Mumbai and uh, that's where I did my undergraduate. Uh, I studied in DJ Sangvi College of Engineering. Like my major was information technology. And uh, after start studying there, I worked for two years in an industry. And then I came back to pursue my master's in computer science. So currently I'm pursuing it from Virginia Tech, uh, Black School. Uh, so basically, I was confused between three countries that, that is Germany, uh, UK, and US. But after uh, like after considering a lot of factors, like uh, you know, in Germany, you need to learn German language, which is super difficult. Uh, so that's how Germany was eliminated. And then uh, there was US and UK, and I was just uh, kind of uh, choosing the universe city and I found Virginia Tech to be better than the rest of them so that's how I got into US. Yeah so there are a lot of factors that I considered. The first factor was that uh, you know it's the course uh, like what kind of subjects are offered, what kind of specializations are offered in computer science then the next thing that came to my mind was the faculty so i uh, like talked to people from virginia tech and the other online resources to get reviews about the faculty and those were like pretty great uh, then the next thing which i like that was i don't know if that's a uh, major to like everybody else but that was kind of important to me was the climate like i cannot live in like very cold I met like uh, Madison. So here the climate is cold, but not that cold. So that was one of the reasons. The next was uh, the placement and the campus. So the campus here is very beautiful. And there are a lot of events and everything that's happening in the campus that keeps you involved. And you don't feel like lonely or alone, like as in other universities, like the people I talk to from other universities. So those were the major factors that led me to choose Virginia Tech over others. Uh, uh, that's a very good question. Uh, and uh, for me, like I would say it has surpassed my expectations uh, in terms of the course quality, the campus and the professors and everything uh, like like I had kind of, uh, like I thought, I always thought that, you know, grad school is kind of very difficult and stuff like that. But I guess it's like coming from the Indian education system, we see education in a different way. Like, like wait till the end and at the end, like just, you know, go through it. Like, mm -hmm. Ek pure and then khatam kar dalo. But, here it's like a completely different like consistency is the key like each week you have assignment and then I guess you struggle at the first like first two months three months because you're not used to that mindset and plus like if you're coming from like a work experience background like you left like I left touch to the university in 2019 and then I worked for two years and then if that's the case, then you definitely struggle for the first one or two months, you know, just try to figure it out, like you're settling down and everything. But I guess once you get used to it, it's like you get used to it, basically. It's not difficult, it's not easy, it's just you get used to it. Yeah, so I guess funding, uh, in the first semester, like getting funding in the first semester is kind of difficult unless you do extensive research about the professors and mail them beforehand. It's kind of difficult uh, and 
so i started my admission process pretty late so i missed that chance to you know connect with the professors before getting into the university oh okay so yeah as in like typical indian student uh, like education loan was my major source of funding okay and for the first semester i worked part time uh, on campus mm-hmm. uh, and then in the second semester right now i have a assistantship okay so that's covering like my tuition fees and stuff and for the tuition fees i think they have recently hiked it to 17000 something okay. yep and like the living expenses is pretty low over here so it's pretty much like manageable i would say if you have a loan and if you work part time right. uh so the assistantship covers like uh majority of the tuition fees mm-hmm. and then it pays it pays you monthly stipend based on the type of assistantship and the, uh, and also depending on the professor i would say the indian community is very strong uh, there are a lot of festivals that are happening mm-hmm. uh, like for instance in the next month we have holi uh, that's coming up but yeah i mean everything is good i mean if you reach out to anyone from the indian community they would be glad to help you out uh, or like help you to settle down i mean it's i mean they are very friendly to be honest like i didn't know anything about virginia tech or blacksburg and um, i contacted a few members from the indian student association and they pretty much helped us out a lot like right from booking flight tickets to you know how to get a cab at like 12 in the night so i mean the only thing is that you need to ask and i don't think if you ask anyone will deny to help you yep but the only con the only disadvantage here is that there is no indian store nearby i mean there is an asian store there is an asian store but there is not an indian store so i do envy my friends who share photos eating jalebi or pani puri <laughs> it's a bit of a struggle but uh like what i did was that i brought a bunch of spices that should easily cover me for at least a year so that's what most of the indian people do here if not like you can order spices back from india like my roommate just ordered uh some indian spices and indian food from india and if not like uh you can go to charlotte uh which is like a two and a half hour drive from here and there's an indian store there so what people do is that they like come together uh like uh, like four households maybe and then they book a car and then they go to charlotte and then buy indian groceries and then come back yeah it's it's a bit of a struggle so when so i wanted to come for masters when i was an undergraduate but you know like things happen like you get a very good job and then there's a lot of pressure like why are you going to the us and for me like i'm the first in my family to come to the us so it's kind of a like i mean there's no support to be honest so I thought that maybe masters isn't for me. Um I took the job like I worked for like 2 years and like luckily the pandemic has been uh, not that harsh on me. Like due to the pandemic uh, like everything switched to remote work. I'm done basically I realized that sitting at my home that this is not what I wanted to do. Like you know you get that kind of self realization that once you get in a job you go in a comfort zone and then you don't want to get out of it and then like everyone around you kind of says that you have a good job i mean you can always switch job to get a better job and then, but luckily 
the self realization kept in and i was like you know i don't want to be in a comfort zone especially at this young age in my life so i would say that if you want to be in a comfort zone don't come to us life is not all, not at all comfortable here until you find a job so don't come to the us it's a bit of a struggle like you have to make your own food you have your own laundry you have to do assignments you have to do everything like so if you are not prepared for that uh, like that kind of lifestyle don't come here but like you said if you want to get out of comfort zone if you want to do something great if you want to get a chance to go back to the campus life if you want to explore if you want to explore yourself a subject or anything then definitely i don't find the better opportunity than masters